How's it going, you beautiful sons of guns? My name is Adapter Saint, and welcome to Watch Dogs Legion. Now, this is a game I've been looking forward to for quite some time now, especially with all this experience watching dogs in the past. <laughs> nice. I don't know, I never played Watch Dogs 1 or 2. So when I heard that the game finally released, I decided to pull out my wallet, cry for a few seconds, and just drop some money to get this game. So let's check this out together. Typically I'd start the game off fresh and make a new campaign, but uh, I've seen the tutorial about a dozen times, and I'm sure you have as well, so here's essentially a short gist of what I got out of it. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck me. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. Fuck's sake. Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking not. What the fuck am I looking at? Fuck. Fuck. The fuck are you? Alrighty, we are now in the world of Watch Dogs 2, and something interesting about this game, or the main gimmick behind it, is that you can play as literally everyone. At first I thought this would be a rather basic idea, but it is pretty interesting when you have different types of characters that have different abilities. This character, for instance, Amir Powell, is quite interesting, because he has spontaneous death. Why is that a thing? <laughs> but I do like it because you have different people with certain abilities and certain items that are unique to them and you have to actually like find certain people to help you get through the endeavors that you're trying to finish. So yeah, we're just going to play as a mirror and we're going to do some different things. But we have a whole world in front of us to explore with all kinds of stuff we can do. Shall we conquer the world? Shall we do some drag races? What are we going to do? Whee! Oh yeah, now that's the high octane stuff I need in my life. Woo! Uh, you know, I kind of got on this for a bit, but this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought. I guess I might as well take this time to read or something. Get on the Ferris wheel, I said. It'd be a good bit, I said. Look at them all down there. No idea what's really going on. I'm glad you have something to say about this, because I am bored out of my mind. Can you let me out? I will gladly die. Oh, yeah, I guess this is a good time to point out that I'm also playing on permadeath, because the game allows for that. So if somebody gets knocked out, they die for good. Isn't that nice? I actually really like the fact that they put that in here. Huh. So this is what it means to go live with the consequences of my actions. Oh, man. There is such an obvious joke that I can make by the name of this wheel, but I don't think I have the heart to even make it right now. Mir, listen to me. You can save both of us in this situation. All you gotta do is go into cardiac arrest suddenly. Sound good? Neither of us need to be on this wheel. It's worth a shot. Oh, thank God, we're finally here. Uh, <laughs> I've never been so happy to be on the floor. There are many things worse than death, such as impending boredom. Ooh, you look really cool. Pocket watch, I'm switches allegiance. It's one of them, you are getting sleepy nutcases. Mental. A professional hypnotist. Looks like someone never updated their career goals from when they were a child in 1853. Well, she's pretty cool. We'll have to recruit him later. However, we have somebody else to recruit first, and that is Amir's good friend, Ella. Ella has a stun gun and a motorcycle, so when you actually unlock them, they'll have that at all times. However, not everybody is willing to join you right off the bat, so we actually have to do some favors for Ella to sway her to join us, I guess. What's up with her, Bagley? She's got substantial gambling debts, well above the median amount that people are killed for. Oh, and she's also refusing offers of financial assistance from a well-off friend. Never known a gambler to turn down free dosh. Something's fishy. You're right, a gambling addict making a bad life choice. Oh, the mystery. You'd better talk to the friend if you want to crack this one. Solid plan. Taxi! Oh, that'll work. Have a wonderful day, ma'am. Woo! Oh, God! I thought I could split it. Ah. Don't mind me, officer. I'm just gonna take this, all right? Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, I guess he's, he's running away. Whatever, works for me. Gotta get some Tokyo drifting in my... Oh, buggers. Woo-hoo! Listen, I watched Tokyo Drift once, so I'm practically an expert. Alright, cool, we're here. Now we gotta talk to her friend about those debt issues that she has. Uh -huh. Nope, sorry about that, Jen. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, it looks like he's coming to apologize to me. I understand, sometimes we mess up. Hey! That's not very nice of you, sir. Oh, oh, that's how it's gonna be, huh? Let me tell ya, I may be a nerd, but I know quite Taekwondo. Whoa. Oh god, this is way more people than I thought. <laughs> I can take you all, I'm sure this will be fine. Oh, the ultra instinct. Help! Help! This is a made a mistake! I made a grave mistake! <laughs> Run! Wait, I got an idea. <laughs> oh god, she's got a gun. She's got a gun. Okay, well that could have went better, but hey, at least we're alive. I throw one piece of explosives and suddenly everybody starts pulling out guns. What are your problems? Uh, do you need some help? What's up? This is about my friend, isn't it? Oh, God. She's okay, right? She's in way over her head. Go on. 
She's destroying her life with this stupid gambling. I tried to help her get out of debt, but no. Now she's off to meet those Clan Kelly thugs. They're going to kill her. Oof, that's not good, is it? We'll look into it. I don't know what it is about the dialogue, but sometimes it really makes me think of Oblivion. Her get out of debt, but no. Now she's off to meet those Clan Kelly thugs. They're going to kill her. Oof, that's not good, is it? Ooh, a scooter. I'm just gonna accommodate this for the glory of Strutska. You're on the wrong side of the road, idiots. Wait a second. Woo! I'm here. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you didn't see me. Listen, man. Can you just pretend you didn't see me for a second? Oh god. Run. Well, this has gone bad. Oh. All right, looks like there's no ability to stealth this time. Good night. Do I have any other gadgets? Oh, no, I do not. All right, big brain. We're going to put that down. We're going to grab this over here. Oh, we're going to get shot in the back of the body. Don't you peek your head out on me. Silly boy. Ah, they got a drone. Isn't this game about, like, stealth and using your tech abilities? Why is it I always get in the gunfights? Okay, let's try to see if we can get ourselves out of the situation. Smack. Smack. Oh. That's going to hurt tomorrow. i arm that. You learn this way. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's, getting, there's other people here. Some guys with machine guns. That's not Clan Kelly. Okay, where does this go? Yeah, the coast is clear. They ran off. Don't worry about me. Ah, well, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, wait, you're Ella. Hey, Ella. It's good to see you. Follow me. Gotta go sneaky peeky like. Get down. Ah, oh, well, that could have went better. But hey, at least we're safe. Well done. Let's make sure they're all right. You okay? Oh, please. Everything was going completely as planned. Uh... Until it wasn't. Fuck. I was sure those thugs were as dumb as they looked. What do you mean? The debt was intentional. I knew they'd take me in, at which point I could infect them with a crypto-stealing virus. Unfortunately, I miscalculated. Turns out criminals are rather prone to violence. No shit. Fine then, do better. If you manage to upload my virus, I'll share a percentage of the crypto with you. I got this. Okay, looks like we got another objective to do. Alrighty, we're here. Now let's try to do the sneaky peeky like this time. All right, we gotta figure out who's all here first. Looks like there's a few guards, but not too many. Oh, I thought that was me. That kind of scared me for a moment. <laughs> Stop that! That's him there. Get ready with the virus upload. Oh, oh! You don't see me. I'm a nerd. Nobody noticed me back in high school. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna do some next level stuff. You ready for this? Come on. Come on. I, I, I can only imagine that he can barely see my head peeking out. It's like, oh, this seems normal. This seems completely fine. Ah, uh, you get. Oh. Damn it. Gotta go after him. Gotta go after him. Gotta go after him. Upload complete. Oh, thank God. Now Scarper, or they'll kill you for sure. <laughs> Well, that's one way of taking somebody down. Virus installed. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's give her the good news, yeah? It's done. Yes, I can see that. My virus is working even faster than expected. God, I'm clever. But I think you'd fit right in with dead sec. Yeah? Fine. I'm in. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm glad we got a new recruit that is a middle-aged grandma. Wait, that that's a that's not right. Hold on. We got a we got a grandma, that's all that matters. Oh yeah, we got this. Let's go, Grandma. Moving at the speed of, well, a snail space to say the least. Now we got the strongest Grandma in the world with a stun gun and all. But before we use her, we gotta make her look the pro look the look, you know. Gotta make sure that she fits into dead sex. So let's pimp out our Grandma. Oh heck yeah! Now that's much more like it. Now that's a tough Grandma if I've ever seen one. She looks like she could beat up anyone. Grandma, I know where we're going. You're gonna prove yourself as a true warrior in the world. Ugh. Ugh, look at that power, look at that force. I appreciate that Grandma is just holding back all her strength, you know? She she doesn't want to sprint or anything because she doesn't want to use her full power. It would rip the whole world in half, you see. Ah, oh, this is much more like it. Hey, are you the guy that we're supposed to talk to? Unavailable for low mobility operatives? Oh, that's just bull. <laughs> All right, fine, Amir, it's your turn. Do it for All Granny's right, sake. Woo! Let's go, Amir! Dude, Ralph looks like he's an actual competitive fighter, and Amir's over here like he's gonna go get a double shot Brave. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay, that hurt. Ow. Have it back. 
Oh, okay, fair enough. Understandable. Have a great day. Woo! Dude, Amir's got some moves. Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> Amir's the man. Get him, boy. Oh, you better watch it, boy. I'm about to chop them chops off. Ow! What are you swinging at? Pathetic. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Oof, right in the face. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Woo! Can't hit what you can't see. Oh, you ain't grabbing shit. I'm not good at shit talking, but hey, you look like a big nose loser. Uh, you're, what's wrong, buddy? Oh, are you trying to get back up? <laughs> dude, he split them cheeks. Ah, uh, which one of you am I fighting, you losers? Oh, I'm fighting, bro. What kind of handy crap crap is this? Imagine you have to team up on a hipster. This has been sponsored by Sad Gang. Ooh, Ultra Instinct. <laughs> oh, a warm up, huh? Get the heck down. Oh, you scared? You scared? And out of here. Finish him. Squeak. Wow, Amir's a true lad. He's willing to help his enemies up. God, I don't know what's more disrespectful. The fact that you just got beat up by a hipster or the fact that he helped you up and you took it. <laughs> that was easy enough. Good job there, Amir. You really are doing a good job despite the fact that you're going to go into cardiac arrest at any moment. Amir used the money he won to pay for his heart surgery that he oh so desperately needed. Ella decided to settle down with her five dogs, using the cryptocurrency she gained from her hack to buy them tons of toys. And as for the rest of the gang, well, they lived all happily ever after. The end. Uh, th that's the ending. Listen, there's like an hour left of footage that I had to go through and edit, and I can't be bothered to edit that yet, so we're gonna make that into another video. Anyways, thanks for watching, and as always, stay dapper.